If we are going to avoid strange fires and bring the real fire, we must know how to make this fire. Do you know fire does not just come automatically? Somebody has to light the fire. There is no fire that just comes just like that. Somebody has to light the fire. Right now, there are fires that are destroying huge parts of California. And many times when, they, when such fires begin, they get back and they find that fire probably started by someone who was probably smoking and they just dropped something. And that fire just was kindled. It's amazing how a small spark can let off a huge fire. May you be that spark in Jesus' name. May you be the spark that changes your generation. May you be the spark that brings light in the darkness of our world. May you be the spark that destroys the power of addiction and the power of homosexuality and the power of wickedness that is going on in Kenya and in Nairobi in Jesus' mighty name. May you be the spark that raises a new generation that will be on fire for God. So for that to happen, there has to be people, number four, there has to be a people that enter, that go into the tent of the meeting. It's not enough to be a priest. You must be a praying priest. You must be a priest who understands how to enter into the presence of God. You must be a priest that understands because there are protocols. Glory to God. You don't just bring down the fire. There is a protocol. There is a process. And the reason Nadab and Abihu brought a strange fire, they were not patient to bring the right fire before God. They were not willing to wait they were not willing to build a proper altar. They were not willing to bring an offering. The Bible doesn't talk about them preparing offerings. They were not willing to stand as priests. They just said, no, no, no. We don't have to go through all this. Let's just go make our own fire. And we will bring it before God. And God will accept it. And the reason we have people today going to witch doctors and trying to get power from witch doctors and using it in the church, the reason we have people that are using all kinds of spirits to control and manipulate and destroy the church of God is because there are men who are saying, I need to see the power of God. I need to see manifestations, but I don't have to fast. I don't have to wait on God. I don't have... And men say, so if all you're looking for is fire you will end up warming yourself around the wrong fire. But just say, God, I just need your fire. Let me be. Let me raise an altar. Let me have. have to be what? Fire came from heaven. Moses and Aaron went into the tent. They went into the house of God. Not only did they go, the Bible says, when they went, then they came out and blessed the people. And the glory of the Lord, the Shekinah glory. I, I remember someone said that before you talk to God about men, you need to, if you talk to men about God, you need to talk to God about men. You need to spend as much time talking to God about the man. I know God is raising a mighty army in this place. I know God is, going to, God is raising firebrands in this house. That is why I, when, I, when I preach, I'm not just preaching anything. I'm preaching a message that is going to stir you up to carry this fire. Praise the Lord. And one of the secrets of seeing the fire come from heaven, you must enter. There is no shortcut. Praise God. You must be willing to enter the tent of the meeting and stay in the tent of the meeting and wait until the glory comes down. 